But aside from the actual enjoyment of the, the salt itself as an additive, which brings out the flavour, it does have a natural use for the body. And without salt, the body can't function in the way that it's used to functioning. So salt has a couple of benefits. It's got the, the use for the body, but it also is used as a flavour enhancer. And despite popular conception, there are many different types of salts. Uh, there are salts that are highly processed. Uh, there are salts that are not processed at all. In fact, they're unrefined. So we have a broad spectrum of salts that people use in their diet. And depending on the types of salts they use, they derive a benefit from that. Uh, to give you an idea, um, table salt is the most commonly used salt that people will have on their tables. And that's typically comes in a shaker. That salt is with more or less uh, a processed salt. And in fact, it's processed to the point where it's mainly consistent of sodium chloride, uh, which are the components of salt. But salt in its natural form, whether it be sea salt, rock salt, um, Himalayan salt, for example, as well, the pink salt that everyone's uh, used to seeing on the shelves now, a lot of that salt that's in its natural form or unprocessed has up to 85 minerals uh, within the salt itself. And in fact, the pink salt gets its colour from all the other minerals in that salt. So when you're having natural salt, you're actually ingesting and digesting a lot of natural elements that the body needs. Um, there's traces of iodine. There's, um, you've got the sodium and the chloride. Um, a lot of the, ele the elements that you want in your body. And as you're, as you're consuming that salt, you're consuming a lot of the minerals that the body needs. Uh, a lot of the me uh, metals um, that the body will need to function. Just like water has trace elements, natural salt in its form has those trace elements that the body needs. And that's one of the challenges that we have nowadays is that a lot of the reports that you'll see in the media focuses on the processed salt, which has stripped bare of all of its natural minerals and you're left with sodium chloride. So in its natural form, the body, when it ingests the, the table salt or the processed salt, um, for lack of a better word, uh, is ingesting a highly processed salt. So what we're trying to do at Baker and Baker Salts is to introduce people and educate them about the different types of salts and that you don't need to have a highly processed salt. The body needs salt. Without salt, uh, the body cannot function. So what we're doing here is introducing people to the natural salt in its natural form, letting them enjoy it, letting them introduce the flavour profiles, but saying, hey, let's enjoy the salt the way it's meant to be used for the body, um, really enjoy the flavours with it, there is nothing wrong with the table salt in itself in small quantities. Uh, you can use that in your cooking and your uh, flavouring. What we're, what we're saying here is that in order to get the best out of your food, the most natural flavours, the most natural ingredients as the salt itself uh, in its purest form, uh, we look to introduce people to an unprocessed salt that the body actually uses to its advantage to absorb those critical minerals that the body needs for its organs to function correctly. So we are here to say to people, yes, if you have too much of anything, it can be a bad thing. But like most things, uh, salt in its natural form is, is good for the body. The body needs it. Without it, uh, it cannot function. So enjoy it by all means and enjoy the flavours that we've got, the different flavour profiles, you know, the smoke salts, the, the wine salts. Enjoy all those with different foods and really enjoy the, the process of eating the way that it's meant to be.